All right, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, sir. Yeah, welcome to the mandatory eight hour safety seminar for workers. I will be your trainer for today, uh, Efren Tercias, and uh, I'm a certified safety officer too. Okay, so. For this session, uh, siguro mga one hour yung seminar natin. Uh, I want to set your expectation na maraming information kayong maririnig today. Okay? Uh, I-discuss naman natin isa-isa. Okay? And bakit tayo naman next? <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> so ang training house rules Certificates of completion shall be given to participants with complete attendance for the six modules. In total nito is eight hours of online seminar. And ito yung uh, provided by DOLE in pursuant to Section 16B of RA, Republic Act 11058. Yan yung uh, occupational safety and health no? na law at uh, yung section 3 ng DO Department Order 198-18 yan didiscuss din natin yan mamaya uh, to provide the mandatory 8 hour safety and health seminar sa lahat ng employees so module 1 natin ang objective is the participants will be able to express appreciation on OSH or occupational safety and health and recognize the importance of various data and legislation, mga batas no, na may kinalaman sa OSH. So this will be covered in Module 1, which is the overview of OSH. Yung iba, didiscuss natin every module na lang para hindi tayo tumagal. No? So up to Module 6 yan. And that it should be conducted by SO or safety officer, which is uh, in our case, I will be your safety officer. So introduction to occupational safety and health. At the end of this session, ang kayo po ng mga participants should be able to explain the importance, gano'n ba kahalaga itong OSH. At magkaroon kayo ng idea doon sa national OSH data. So when we say OSH, occupational, safety and health. At uh, bakit kailangan ba itong uh, occupational safety and health? Dahil lahat ng empleyado, lahat ng manggagawa ay may karapatan no? sa ligtas yan. at healthy workplace. Ang OSH is devoted to recognition, pagkilala at pagkontrol Doon sa mga factors, yung factors ay tinatawag na hazards doon sa workplace. Ano yung hazards? Panganib. No? Uh, na maaring magdulot ng pagkamatay, disability, injury, pagkasakit, or great discomfort. Gayun din yung inefficiency sa mga manggagawa. So ang focus ng OSH ay sa environment, kaligid, mga ginagamit natin na equipment at ginagamit natin na materials lalo na yung tao no na gumagamit ng lahat ng ito tayo yon yung employees no alam niyo ba na every 15 seconds may namamatay na isang worker na work related accident or disease no so yan ay every 15 seconds may namamatay at every 15 seconds din 160 workers ang nagkakaroon ng work-related accident. At ang global data ng Occupational Safety and Health, ayon yan sa International Labor Organization Report, 340 million work-related accidents every year. Ganun karami. No? And 160 million victims of work-related illnesses every year din. No? At uh, ito'y nagdudulot ng mahigit apat na araw na pagliban or pag-absent. Two million people die each year. Ganun karami. No? Two million people namamatay. 
uh, sa work-related diseases or accident. At 321,000 people die each year from occupational accidents. Siguro yung 2 million people die na yan, eh, tumaas ngayon dahil sa COVID. No? Occupational accidents occur mostly in sa agriculture, sa mining, sa construction, sa commercial fishing. Yan daw yung uh, malaking source ng occupational accidents. At 4% or mahigit 1.25 trillion US dollars of world's gross domestic product ay nawawala dahil sa occupational diseases and accidents. Lumang data pa yan na 2003, so baka mas malaki pa yan ngayon. And in 2017 to 2018, sa isinagawang integrated survey on labor and employment, yan. Uh, if you compare total establishments from 2015 to 2017, tumaas ang total cases from 50,000 naging 46,000. Medyo mababa naman. No? And uh, cases ng, uh, without work delays or work days lost, 33,000, tapos bumaba ng 25,000. Ang pinapakita lang dyan, uh, posibleng bumaba dahil sa pagiging aware na sa occupational safety and health pero meron ding incidents na tumaas no like cases with work days lost tumaas yan and etc okay dito naman uh, local scenario sa atin top 3 industries na may cases of occupational industries kasi sa atin sa Pilipinas marami tayong manufacturing uh, meron tayong mga tinatawag na export processing zone area di ba uh, 49.7 ng Uh, mga kaso ng occupational injuries ay nagaganap, nangyayari sa manufacturing industry. Sa atin, wholesale retail trade, no? ay uh, 11.4%. Pero mostly yan ay sa repair ng motor vehicles and motorcycles. Malinaw pa ba ako? Hello? Yes po. Sa okay. Po. Kasi lumabas yung unstable internet connection. Ah, eh. uh, And 7.2% administrative and support service activities. So mas mababa ang occurrence dyan sa industry na yan. Okay. Ang occupational injuries data, no? uh, naka-highlight naman dyan, superficial injury and open wound no? from 2003 to 2017. Ganyan karami, no? 11,000, 10,000, 9,000, 11,000, 12,000, 10,000. Uh, ganyan karami ang uh, nangyayaring aksidente no? uh, dito sa atin. Work-related musculoskeletal disorder, ano yan? may kinalaman yan sa mga pagbubuhat-buhat. No? Uh, 20,000 noong 2003. 13,000, 28,000, 45,000, 88,000, Grabe ang dami. No? At uh, noong 2017, 53,000, almost 54,000. So, hindi pa rin naiiwasan itong ganitong klase ng mga injury. No? Uh, muscular or mus musculoskeletal disorder. And percentage of establishments employing 20 or more workers ay kailangan mag-implement ng uh, occupational safety and health policies programs. No? Uh, ito, uh, yung mga policies and uh, programs, uh, hearing conservation, ergonomics, stress management, chemical safety program. So meron ang uh, dole na ipinapa-implement na at least ay five, uh, actually hindi lang pala five, no more than five, policies and programs sa bawat uh, company no? with more than 20 or more. More than 20 or more. Eh, no? uh, with 20 or more employees. So pasok tayo dyan, no So may indoor air quality program, employee assistance related to substance abuse. Substance abuse, may kinalaman yan sa drugs. No? Uh, tuberculosis, HIV and AIDS, anti-sexual harassment. So sexual harassment, Uh, accident prevention program, etc. Right? So, magkakaroon tayo lahat yan ng mga policies and uh, programs na implement din natin dito sa atin, sa ating opisina. Remember, lahat ng employee may karapatan sa 
ligtas at uh, healthy workplace. And ang occupational safety and health is para saan ba siya? Prevention of workplace injuries and diseases. So yan ang layunin ng OSH para maingatan, maiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng injury at disease sa ating uh, workplace sa opisina. Okay? May question kayo doon? Okay. Okay. Clear naman po. Okay naman po, sir. All right. So yun yung ano ah, introduction. Ano yung dahilan bakit nag implement ng OSH or Occupational Safety and Health? Ngayon, pupunta tayo dun sa legislations, mga batas na ginawa ng ating gobyerno ng uh, pamahalaan para magkaroon ng safe and healthy workplaces. Ito medyo marami, kaya pagtyagaan nyo ha. Ang objectives at the end of the session, ang mga participants ay kaya i-discuss yung iba't ibang strategies for OSH administration dito sa Pilipinas, maipaliwanag yung government OSH regulations and other responses sa mga existing at potential na OSH hazards. When we say OSH, occupational safety and health, no? at ma-identify ang iba't ibang OSH requirements and areas for compliance to the OSH standards. So kung may mapapansin kayo dito sa pag-aaralan natin na hindi pa natin ginagawa sa opisina ay pwede niyong sabihin sa amin para ma-implement at magawa natin. Okay? So ang framework ng DOLE uh, bilang policy regulation, sa ilalim niya mayroong OSH Center. No? Uh, merong Bureau of Working Conditions or BWC. Merong Employees Compensation, no? uh, ECC. Merong DOLE Regional Offices from uh, NCR Region 1 hanggang Region uh, 12. No? At nakakluster yan in Tuluson, Visayas, and Mindanao. Lahat sila actually ay nag offer ng libreng uh, OSH training para sa safety officer one, uh, dapat ang empleyado is less than 50. Yan. So tayo ay uh, more than 50, kaya uh, safety officer two yung requirement sa atin. Although pwedeng umatend yung iba ng safety officer one uh, para magkaroon din ng idea about occupational safety and health. Ano ba ang mga basihan na legal? No? Bakit uh, nag-implement nito? Una, Sa Labor Code ng Pilipinas, Presidential Decree 442 noong 1974 pa yan, Consolidation of Labor and Social Laws to Afford Full Protection to Labor. Yan. Promote Employment and Human Resources Development and Ensure Industrial Peace. So yan ang basihan. No? At isa pa, yung ginawang OSH Standards noong 1978 at in amend noong 1989. Ito yung set of mandatory rules, mandatory kailangan no, uh, required sa say, occupational safety and health which codifies lahat ng safety orders issued bago ito na promulgate. All right. And ito yung latest which is Republic Act 11058 and its implementing rules and regulation noong January 24, 2019, bago mag-pandemic. Ano ito? It is an act strengthening compliance, pinapatibay no? ng uh, Republic Act na ito, ng batas na ito, yung pagsunod no? sa OSH standards at providing penalties for violations thereof. Yan. Kaya ang uh, DOLE inspectors, ay nagsimula this year kasi noong 2020, pandemic eh, no? So iwas muna, although 2019 yung batas. So 2021, nagsimula silang i-implement no? uh, itong uh, OSH standard sa lahat ng uh, company no? na may higit uh, 20 or more no? ang uh, empleyado. So sa section 2 ng uh, batas, 
it shall apply to all establishments, projects and sites, and all other places where work is being undertaken in all branches of economic activity, including establishments located inside special economic zones or PESA or uh, EPSA or Clark Development Corporation, mga utilities engaged in air, sea, and land transportation, industries like mining, fishing, construction, agriculture, and maritime contractors, and subcontractors, including those engaged in the projects of the public sector. Yan. So the rules does not apply to the public sector, government yon. As definition of terms, ang certified first aider, any person trained and duly certified to administer first aid, no? by sino ang nag-training, PRC or Philippine Red Cross, or any organization authorized by DOLE. Halimbawa, Bureau of Fire, Department of Health, at saka TESDA. So, ang certified first aider natin sa company dapat ay nag-training sa Red Cross, BFP, DOH, or TESDA. Yan. Ano naman ang covered workplaces? Ito yung mga establishments, projects, sites, and all other places where work is being undertaken wherein the number of employees, nature of operation, and risk or hazard involved in the business as determined by the Secretary of Labor and Employment, require compliance with the provisions of DO Department Order 198-18. So, sino yung mga covered or kasali ng mga workplaces? Yung mga kasama sa Department Order 198-18. At ang employer naman ay any person, natural or juridical, including the contractor, subcontractor, principal employer, who directly or indirectly benefit from the services of the employee. Ano ang tinatawag na high-risk establishment? So it refers to workplace kung saan ang presence ng hazard or potential hazard within the company may affect the safety and or health of workers. At ito, yung listahan ng mga workplaces commonly associated with potentially high-risk activities. So, chemical works or chemical production, construction, deep-sea fishing, explosives and pyrotechnics, firefighting, healthcare facilities, installation of communication accessories, LPG filling, mining, petrochemical works, power generation, transmission, distribution, storage, and distribution center for toxic or hazardous chemicals, storage of fertilizers in high volume. Alam niyo yung nangyari doon sa Brazil, yung sumabog. No? Uh, Brazil ba yun? Or uh, uh, Lebanon pala, no? Yung sumabog doon sa Maypier. Kala nila, terrorist attack. Yung pala ay dahil sa napakatagal ng fertilizers na naka-imbak doon, nasako-sakong fertilizers. Bakit? Nag-i-emit kasi siya ng ammonia. And nung nag-ignite, ayun, boom, sabog. No? Uh, transportation establishments, water supply, sewerage works in which chlorine is used in bulk. So yung mga naglilinis ng uh, uh, swimming pools, kasali dyan. Or siyempre sa water work system natin. Activities closely similar to those enumerated above and other activities as determined by DOLE. So ano pa ang ating mga definition of terms? Pag sinabing medium risk establishment naman, this is a workplace where there is moderate exposure, moderate lang ang exposure to safety and health hazards and with probability of an accident, injury, or illness. Low risk establishment, dito tayo kasali. A workplace where there is low level of danger or exposure to safety and health hazards and not likely or with low probability to result in accident, harm, or illness. Pero kahit low risk establishment tayo, kailangan pa rin nating mag-implement ng occupational safety and health programs and procedures. Yan. Pag sinabing imminent danger, ito yung situation caused by a condition or practice in any place of employment that could reasonably be expected to lead to death or serious 
physical harm. So, uh, yeah, imminent danger, yeah, no? that could uh, reasonably be expected to lead to death. Pwedeng mamatay o kaya ay serious ang physical harm. Ang tinatawag naman na MSM, MSE, micro and small enterprises, iba MSME, no? micro, small, medium enterprises, ito yung establishments employing less than 10 employees and the establishments employing less than 100 employees respectively regardless of capitalization. <coughs> na. Ang safety officer one, ito yung employee na nakakomplete ng mandatory 8-hour OSH orientation course as prescribed in the OSH standards, which is ito yung uh, seminar natin ngayon. Ha? Plus, two hours of trainer's training. Yan yung safety officer one. Ang safety officer two naman, an employee has completed the mandatory 40-hour oh, OSH training course applicable to the industry as prescribed in the OSH standards. Ito ako. No? Uh, basic. Merong isa is construction, occupational safety and health. Ibang seminar pa rin yun. Safety officer three, Meron ng 40-hour OSH training, meron pang additional 48 hours ulit no, of advanced specialized OSH training and at least two years experience sa OSH. Yan. So ito ng mga to, nire-require ito ng mga malalaking company na talaga. And meron pang safety officer for bukod sa 40 hours OSH training, meron din itong 80 hours of advanced Specialized OSH training course plus an aggregate of 320 hours of OSH related training or experience. So tayo, uh, safety officer one lang at saka safety officer two ang kailangan sa ating company. Ang section four ng batas ay may kinalaman sa duties of employers. Bilang employers, lahat ng employer, contractor, or subcontractor, if any, and any person who manages, controls, or supervises the work being undertaken. So kasali dito ang ating BP, manager, supervisors, no? management team, kasali dito. Shall equip a place of employment for workers free from hazardous conditions that are causing or are likely to cause death, illness, or physical harm. So ngayon, na maintindihan nyo na ito, dapat titignan nyo ngayon ang ating opisina. No? Okay, mag, bilang mga part kayo ng management team, titignan nyo na ngayon ang ating opisina kung meron bang mga hazardous conditions na maaring magdulot ng death, illness, or physical harm. We shall also provide complete job safety instructions and proper orientation to all the workers, including but not limited to those relating to familiarization with their work environment. Sa atin naman, basic lang na office, no? unlike sa construction area na talagang dapat alam nila paano gamitin yung mga construction equipment and tools. No? So sa atin, hindi masyadong... Uh, maraming gagawin or i-explain or uh, ituturo. And as employers, to ensure that so far as it is reasonably practicable, the chemical, physical, and biological substances and agents and ergonomic and psychosocial stresses under their control are without risk to health. So dapat ang mga ginagamit nating mga chemical sa panlinis mga physical and biological substance and agents. No? Uh, pati yung ergonomic and psychosocial stress. Ano yung ergonomic uh, kapag nagbubuhat kayo ng mga uh, deliver sa atin no? or i-deliver natin, mga mabibigat na items. Uh, kapag nakaupo kayo, ano yung position ninyo? Ergonomic ba yan? No? Kasi pwedeng mag ng stress sa ating uh, body. No? That, that could be a risk to our health. Use only approved specific industry set of standards of devices 
and equipment for the workplace. Okay? And comply with occupational safety and health standards, including training, medical examination where necessary, provisions on protective and safety devices such as PPE and machine guards. Wala naman na tayong mga machine guards, pero ang PPE natin sa office are yung ating mask, face mask, and face shields. No? Uh, siguro doon sa mga maglilinis, kailangan nyo ng gloves if you use the chemicals paglinis ng ating office. And ang karagdagang duties of employers is to make arrangement for workers and their representatives to have the time and resource to participate in the processes of organizing, planning, and implementation, monitoring, evaluation, and action for improvement of the OSH management system. Mamaya, didiscuss yan yung safety committee no, na bubuin natin. Uh, provide where necessary for measures, identifying trainings and drills, evacuation plans, etc. to deal with emergencies, fires, and accidents, including first aid arrangements. Kaya kailangan natin ng first aider and uh, with regards to fires and other emergencies, uh, nagko-coordinate tayo sa building administration para sa mga trainings and drills. No? Pati evacuation plans, makikita nyo naman yan doon sa may elevator area, sa ating emergency exit. Okay? And also to comply with all reportorial requirements of the OSH standard. So ito regularly, may monthly report tayong sinasubmit at meron din tayong annual report na isasubmit with regards to uh, accidents no? and risks na nangyari sa loob ng office. And also to register establishment to DOLE as provided under the OSH standards, which we have already done. No? Naka-register na tayo. We only do it once naman. And the uh, duties naman ng workers. Duties of workers or employees. Every worker, in order to ensure compliance with the OSH standards, shall... Una, participate kayo dapat sa capacity building activities on safety and health and other OSH-related topics and programs. Participate meaning, tignan nyo rin ang uh, environment natin, ang uh, working environment ninyo, no? yung kapaligiran. Meron bang mga hazards? Mamaya i-identify. Sa susunod ng mga seminars, i-identify natin ano ba yung mga hazards na yun, no? Also, proper use of all safeguards and safety devices furnished for workers' protection and that of others. So make sure lagi natin sinusuot yung ating PPE. In our case, masks and face shield. Workers should comply with instructions to prevent accidents or imminent danger situations in the workplace. Workers should observe prescribed steps to be taken in cases of emergency. And uh, report to their immediate supervisor any work hazard that may be discovered in the workplace. Baka may nakita kayong pakalat-kalat na chemicals or possible na mag ng uh, accident. Yan, i-report ninyo sa inyong immediate supervisor. Example of safety. Yan, itong picture na to may nakalagay na sign. No? Danger. Hard hat area. So dapat pag pumasok dyan, merong suot na hard hat or yung matigas na sombrero. Kaya lang, ito ba ay safe itong picture na sumunod? No? Dahil sa haba ng buhok niya, eh, hindi kasya yung hard hat. No? So that's an example of unsafe uh, wearing of personal protective equipment. So hindi, hindi mapoprotektahan yung ulo niya, yung buhok lang ang mapoprotektahan. Ang section 5 ng batas, the workers' right to know. No? Ito yung karapatan ninyong malaman bilang mga employees or workers. The right to safety and health at work shall be guaranteed. All workers shall be appropriately informed by the employer about all types of hazards in the workplace and be provided access to training, education, and orientation on chemical safety, electrical safety, ergonomics, and other hazards and risks. So lahat yan ay 
pag-aaralan natin in our future modules or succeeding modules. Lahat din ng workers, including new hires, shall be provided training and information for all types of hazards in the workplace in a language and dialect that workers can understand. Training and information materials used shall be made readily available and accessible to workers. Kaya magpiprint tayo ng mga safety sign. No? So isa sa pinapagawa ko sa inyo yon para mailagay sa mga specific areas kung saan applicable yung safety sign na yon. A reorientation on safety and health for workers in high-risk establishments, so hindi man tayo kasali dyan, must be conducted regularly, not less than once a quarter, and to be conducted immediately following any changes in the operations and production process. Ang worker ay may karapatan, karapatan din na i-refuse na magtrabaho without threat or reprisal from the employer if, as determined by Dole, an imminent danger situation exists doon sa office. No? So kung meron kayong makitang ganyan, i-report nyo rin agad sa inyong immediate supervisor para ma-correct natin. As preventive measure, the safety officer may, following his or her own determination and without fear of reprisal, implement a work stoppage. Pwedeng patigilin ng pagtatrabaho no? or isuspend ang operation in cases na mayroon ding imminent danger. Ano ba yung imminent danger? This is the situation na pwedeng mag-cause ng death no? or uh, serious injury. Ang employer, safety officer or worker shall immediately notify the dole that an imminent danger situation exists in the workplace. Halimbawa, uh, parang nagkaroon ng gas leak. No? Kung merong ganyan no, sa area, uh, i-report -re agad yan kasi possible na mag-cause ng uh, pagsabog and imminent danger yon. So yung mga ganong situation dapat i-report. The employer or safety officer cannot require the workers to return to work where there is a continuing imminent danger. A worker may also refuse to work until the lifting of the WSO after implementing the appropriate control measure. So, tandaan ninyo ha, yung pwede nyo lang i-refuse, no? tanggihan, uh, is because mayroong imminent danger. Workers affected by the existence of an imminent danger situation may be temporarily assigned to other areas within the workplace, provided there is no impending issue with safety and health. Yan. So kung doon man sa lugar eh, may imminent danger, pwede kayong temporarily ilipat ng ibang workplace. Workers and their representatives shall have the right to report accidents, dangerous occurrences, and hazards to the employer to DOLE and to other concerned competent government agencies, they shall be free from any form of retaliation for reporting of any incident. So pwede nyo i-report kung sakaling may nakikita kayo na accidents, dangerous occurrences, at saka hazards. Reporting of accidents to DOLE may be made through any means of communication, including DOLE hotline, whichever is most convenient to the worker. Meron din silang Facebook ano, page. The work, uh, the same may be reported to the nearest DOLE regional, field, provincial, or satellite office having jurisdiction over the place of the incident. Pwede nyo naman itong i-search lang no, yung DOLE sa Google to find the uh, nearest regional, field, provincial, or satellite office dito sa atin sa Makati. Section 8 is the worker's right to PPE or personal protective equipment. Lahat ng employer, contractor, or sub subcontractor, if any, shall provide his or her workers free of charge. Walang bayad. Ah. Hindi kayo dapat ma nasingilin dyan sa inyong mga gagamitin na PPE for any part of the body that may be exposed to hazards 
and lifeline, safety belts or harness, gas or dust respirators or masks, and protective shields whenever necessary. Ang uh, cost of PPE shall be part of the OSH program, which is a separate pay item pursuant to Section 21 of this rule. So may nire-report naman kaming ganyan sa dole. All personal protective equipment shall be the appropriate type as tested and approved by the dole based on its standards and or other means of verification. The usage of PPE in all establishments, projects, sites, and all other places where work is being undertaken shall be based on the evaluation and recommendation of the safety officer. All PPE must be of appropriate size, weight, and type to specific workers exposed to hazards from which PPE are meant to ensure protect, uh, effective protection. No? So normally, yan naman details na yan sa mga construction sites. And failure to provide appropriate PPE in high-risk activities shall give rise to the right of the worker to refuse unsafe work. So again, sa atin ay basically uh, ang ating PPE, face mask, and face shield. Hindi naman natin kailangan ng hard hat. Hindi naman natin kailangan ng safety, uh, safety shoes. No? Hindi naman natin kailangan ng gloves. Yan para sa ating environment. Section 9, ito dapat nabanggit ko kanina yung ating mga safety signs and devices sa uh, mailagay na in place dito sa ating opisina. All establishments, project sites and all other places where work is being undertaken shall have safety signage and devices to warn the workers and the public of the hazards in the workplace. Ang safety signage and devices shall be posted. Balik. Ayaw nang bumalik. <laughs> uh, bakit? Mabagal. Ayaw kong mag-back. Puro go. Ayan na, naubos na. Teka lang ha. Yun. Okay, section 10. Tama? Safety in the use of equipment. In relation... Andiya pa ba kayo? Yes, sir. Di pa pa po. Okay. Section 10. Safety in the use of equipment. Uh, in relation to the use of equipment. Pero dapat sa sign muna tayo, di ba? Right to PPE. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Ayan Ulit. Po. Section 9. Uh, edit ko na lang yung video. Uh, all right. Section 9. Safety signage and devices. All establishments, projects, uh, sites, and all other places where work is being undertaken shall have safety signage and devices to warn the workers and the public of the hazards in the workplace. So... Sa ating mga safety officers dyan, yung ating signs, kailangan mailagay nyo na doon sa main entrance and doon sa rooms ng ibang invoke. No? Safety signage and devices shall be posted in prominent positions at strategic locations in a language understandable to all. 
And in accordance with the occupational safety and health standards on color of signs for safety instructions and warnings. Globally harmonized system or GHS pictograms, gaya na nakikita nyo dyan sa kanan, no? construction safety, classification and labeling of chemicals, radiation, safety instructions and warning signs set by Dole. All signage shall be of appropriate quality to ensure their legibility. So yung mga safety signs naman na nagagamitin natin ay lahat ng galing yan sa Dole. So section 10, safety in the use of equipment in relation to the use of equipment such as but not limited to earth moving, wala naman tayo niya, heavy duty, materials handling equipment, construction equipment. The employer, contractor, or subcontractor, if any, must comply with the OSH standard set by DOLE on safety and use of such equipment in the different phases of the company or project operation, including the transport to and from the establishment, project site, or place where work is being undertaken. So appropriate training and certifi certification by the Technical Education Skills and Development Authority or TESDA, PRC, or other concerned government agencies shall be a requirement for operators before use of equipment if applicable. So hindi naman ito masyadong applicable sa atin. No? Section 12, OSH program covered workplaces shall develop and implement a suitable OSH program in a format prescribed by DOLE which shall be posted in prominent places. So yung mga OSH program na yan ay uh, ipiprint din namin and ipopost yan sa ating bulletin board. Number section 13, OSH committee for establishments with less than 10 workers and low risk establishments with 10 to 50 workers kailangan ng safety officer one. Pero since hindi naman tayo dyan, dito tayo, for two or more establishments housed under one building or complex. So sa building natin, like uh, uh, yung, yung office natin ngayon, no? When two or more establishments are housed under one building or complex, the health and safety committee organized in its workplace shall form themselves into a joint coordinating committee to plan and implement programs and activities concerning all the establishments. So yung dalawang company natin pwedeng maging joint coordinating committee na lang. No? So chairperson is the building owner or representative. Ang secretary is the safety officer of the building or complex appointed by the chairperson. And ang members, at least two safety officers from any of the establishment house under one building or complex. No? So the building administrator shall ensure that the joint OSH committee shall submit its organizational plans and minutes to the DOLE regional office. Okay? So pwede tayong mag-form pala as joint coordinating committee na lang. Um, section 14, definition ng safety officer in the implementation of OSH programs, safety officers shall be employed or designated with the following duties and responsibilities to oversee the overall management of the OSH program in coordination with the OSH committee. Frequently monitor and inspect in any or any health or safety aspect of the operation. So lagi natin titignan yan. Ha? Lagi tayo nakapokus sa health and safety ng ating mga operations. To assist the government inspectors in the conduct of safety and health inspection, at any time, whenever work is being performed. So, posible kasi na ang DOLE inspectors ay pumunta sa opisina natin any time of the day. No? Of course, working, working hour yun no? uh, to inspect. And they can issue work stoppage order or WSO when necessary based on the requirements and procedures provided by the OSH standards. So, kailangan tayo lagi mag-comply para hindi tayo ma-issuehan ng WSO. Ano-ano ba itong safety officer sa section 14? Uh, safety officers of all workplace must possess the necessary training and experience requirement according to its category as contained herein. So makikita nyo sa table 
safety officer 1, kailangan maten ng mandatory 8 hours at saka 2 hours POT or trainers, train of trainers. Yeah. SO2, mandatory 40-hour basic OSH training which is na-attendan ko na yan. The rest, di naman natin kailangan. And so safety officer for yan. No? So safety officers engaged in micro, eh, tayo yan, and small establishments, low to medium risk, shall be engaged in safety programs, including other tasks designated by his or her employer. Okay? Uh, this table shows ano ang kailangan, no? based on the number of workers. So 51 to 99, kailangan natin ng isang SO2. Uh, kung medium risk, kailangan ng SO2 plus SO3 pa. Okay? So sa atin, SO2 and uh, SO1, okay na sa atin yan. OH, occupational health personnel and facilities for number of workers, 51 to 99, kailangan natin ng at least isang first aider, uh, low risk naman tayo. Kaya nag assign tayo ng first aider sa bawat company. And kung wala pa to undergo training, nabanggit kanina sa Red Cross, uh, TESDA, Bureau of Fire, no? uh, para accredited ng uh, Department of Labor and Employment. So importante, meron din tayong first aider. Dapat din, uh, meron tayong occupational health personnel and facilities. No? So if 51 to 99, dapat meron tayong first aid treatment room. Kaya nagde-designate tayo ng uh, room uh, sa bawat opisina natin. No? Uh, I-allocate siya as uh, pwedeng gamitin bilang first aid treatment room. Hindi pa naman kailangan ng clinic, hindi naman kailangan ng hospitals. Okay? Uh, as for clinic, dahil meron naman tayong uh, health card, uh, we have accredited clinics na malapit sa area natin. Pwedeng doon tayo pumunta. No? Ang requirement is within 5 kilometers. So pasok na pasok naman yung mga clinics na malapit sa atin. OH personnel and facilities, again, the employer may not establish a hospital or dental clinic in the workplace where there is a hospital or dental clinic which is located not more than 5 kilometers away from the workplace. Ito yung binanggit ko kanina. And it should be accessible in not more than 25 minutes of travel time. No? And the employer has facilities readily available for transporting workers to the hospital or dental clinic in cases of emergency. So meron naman tayong mga uh, delivery vans na pwede nating tawagan in case of emergency. For this purpose, the employer shall enter into a written contract with the hospital for the use of such hospital for the treatment of workers in cases of emergency. So uh, magre-request lang tayo ng memorandum of agreement no? with these uh, clinics or hospitals na malapit sa atin. All safety and health personnel shall undergo the mandatory orientation or training on OSH as prescribed by DOLE. O, inulit lang yan. No? SO1, mandatory 8 hours. SO2, 40 hours. And safety and health training, all workers shall undergo the mandatory workers OSH seminar as prescribed by DOLE, which shall be jointly participated by workers and employers. Kaya ginagawa natin ngayon itong uh, mandatory uh, 8-hour safety seminar. So dahil required ito ng DOLE under Section 16, the safety and health training. And OSH seminar may be conducted by the safety officer of the establishment or any certified OSH practitioner or consultant. Okay? All personnel engaged in the operation, erection, dismantling of equipment, scaffolds, uh, stretcher, etc. Uh, such training shall include, among others, topics on safety, specialized PPE requirements. Yeah, so, hindi naman applicable na sa atin yan. Section 17 is about reports. So ito yung trabaho ng safety officers. Uh, all employers, contractors, or subcontractors, if any, shall submit to DOLE 
all safety and health reports and notifications such as but not limited to annual medical reports so annual yearly no uh, OSH committee report kapag ka nagkaroon ng uh, meeting so yung minutes isa submit employers work accident injury report ito yung tinatawag na WAIR monthly nire report yan and annual work accident injury exposure data report or AEDR with or without uh, illness or accident no so ang WAIR is kailan isa submit 20th day of the following month so sa July 20 ire-report natin ay yung nangyari noong June okay annual work accident injury exposure data or AEDR is to be submitted until January 30 of the following year. Okay? Uh, report of safety organization is annually. Minutes is quarterly. So yung ating uh, committee meeting, uh, dapat meron tayong quarterly report. And annual medical report is to be submitted March 30 of the following year. Pakitake note nyo lang mga safety officers. Section 19, workers, welfare, facilities, uh, all establishments, project sites, and all other places where work is being undertaken shall have the following free welfare facilities in order to ensure humane working conditions. Adequate supply of safe drinking water, meron tayong water dispensers. Adequate sanitary and washing facilities, we have pantry. Suitable living accommodation for workers, in Hindi naman tayo, wala namang uh, natutulog, no? in-house. Separate sanitary washing and sleeping facilities for, for all genders. So wala rin tayo niyan uh, kasi wala namang uh, sleep over. Lactation station, except those establishments as provided for under DOLE department order. So yung first aid uh, room natin will also be allocated as our lactation station doon sa mga working mothers na kailangan magpa-breastfeed or mag-pump uh, ng kanilang uh, breast milk. Ramps, railings, and the like. So wala naman tayong ganito. Uh, yung, yung ramp is for yung mga heavy loads. No? Other workers' welfare facilities as may be prescribed by the OSH standard. So kung ano man yung kailangan, we will provide no? as uh, needed. Section 20 is all other OSH standards, all employers, contractors, or subcontractors, if any, shall comply with other occupational safety and health standards as provided for in the 1978 DOLE Occupational Safety and Health Standards as amended. Okay? Rule 1070, ito yung OSH standards amendments. No? Occupational health and environment control. The employer shall exert efforts to maintain and control the working environment in comfortable and healthy conditions for the purpose of promoting and maintaining the health of his workers. The employer shall carry out in tinatawag na WEM or work environment measure. Kung saan dito ay Kung yung area where hazardous work is performed shall keep a record of such measurement. Susukatin, ano ang susukatin diyan? Uh, temperature, humidity, pressure, illumination, ventilation, concentration of substances, and noise. No? And it shall be made available to the enforcing authority. The WEM shall be performed periodically as may be necessary but no longer than annually. At least once a year ay sinusukat ang temperature ng environment, humidity, pressure, illumination, ventilation, concentration of substances, and noise. Tayo naman, meron tayong ginagamit ng mga air filter ngayon no, sa mga rooms natin. And merong indicator doon kung ano yung concentration ng mga uh, substances in uh, our uh, air inside the room. No? Temperature, uh, nasa-set naman yan sa ating uh, air condition, centralized air condition. Uh, humidity, kasama yan, pressure. Illumination is uh, madilim ba or maliwanag ba doon sa ating work area. And ventilation, no? uh, so meron tayong centralized air conditioning. And every morning before we start our work, pinapabuksan natin yung lahat ng windows 
para pumasok ang fresh air, no? mag-replenish ng fresh air sa loob ng ating office. So we are complying with this. Rule 1967 is physical examination at uh, lahat ng workers, irrespective of age, sex, shall undergo physical examinations. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng annual physical examination. No? Normally, gagawin natin yan every December of the year. So before entering employment for the first time, dapat may APE rin periodically or at such intervals as may be necessary on account of the conditions or risks involved in the work when transferred or separated from employment and when injured or ill. All examinations shall be complete and thorough, be rendered free of charge to the workers. So wala kayong babayaran as employees or workers. No? And it shall include X-ray, or special laboratory examinations when necessary due to peculiar nature of the employment. Section 23, malapit na tayo matapos, visitorial powers of the Secretary of Labor and Employment. The conduct of annual spot audit must be attended by a safety officer and representative of the management and workers of the establishment. Kung walang safety officer, duly authorized representative may attend. Secretary of Labor and Employment or his duly authorized representatives can enter workplaces at any time. Yun. Uh, no person or entity shall obstruct, impede, delay, or otherwise render ineffective the orders of the Secretary of Labor and Employment or the Secretary's duly authorized representatives issued pursuant to the authority granted under Article 128 of the Labor Code of the Philippines. Ito naman, i-require lang natin doon sa uh, authorized representative ng DOLE ay yung kanyang identification, no? ID, at saka yung kanyang uh, memo no? or uh, yung authority to inspect. Yan. So hahanapin niyo yun kapag ka mayroong Uh, pupunta sa ating office to inspect our facility. So ang ECC or Employees Compensation Claim, dito a worker may file claims for compensation benefit arising out of work-related disability or death. Such claims shall be processed independently of the finding of fault, gross negligence, or bad faith of the employer in a proceeding instituted for the purpose. The employer shall provide the necessary assistance to employees applying for claims. So dito sa ECC, ang employee ang magpa-file ng claim. No? Ang office dito sa atin sa Makati ay dyan sa Buendia. No? So kung meron kayong sakaling nagkaroon kayo ng uh, work-related disability, or debt, no? pwede kayong mag-file ng compensation. Hindi kayo babayaran dahil kayo ay yung bills ninyo sa ospital or uh, bills ninyo sa pagpapalibing. No? Ang babayaran dito, compensation, parang uh, allowance no? dahil hindi kayo nakapagtrabaho. So uh, that's very minimal. Depende sa number of days na hindi kayo nakapagtrabaho. And uh, kinonsider na ng dole ang COVID as a form of compensable claim. So kung kayo ay nagka-COVID, ilang araw kayong hindi nakapag-work, submit nyo lang yung mga requirements na result ng COVID. Yan. Uh, ilang days kayo hindi nag-work from uh, your employer para makakuha kayo, makapag-claim kayo ng employee's compensation. Section 28, the incentives employers and workers shall be established package of incentives under such rules and regulations as may be promulgated by DOLE to qualified employers and workers to recognize their efforts towards ensuring compliance with OSH and general labor standards such as OSH training packages, additional protective equipment, technical guidance, recognition awards, and other similar incentives. All right, tapos na tayo.